Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. We all love this small ESP8266 device. They are extremely small and their antenna is even smaller. Today's question is therefore, how far do they reach? A while ago, CN Lore did tests and found out that the reach was a few kilometers. Because my small boards sometimes were not able to connect to an access point which was upstairs, I was not sure if his results were relevant for me. My lab is in the basement and everybody knows that here in Switzerland every house has to have an atomic bomb shelter and might think this short reach is a particular Swiss problem because these shelters have extremely thick ceilings. To find out, I moved out of my lab into fresh air and did a test which is close to scenarios I use for the ESP8266. I tried to connect my iPad to a remote ESP. To make sure I had a clear line of sight, I put the ESP on our roof deck and took the iPad with me. For the first test, I used a witty board with a plain vanilla ESP12E and its onboard PCB antenna. Because sometimes size matters, I used an ESP07 with an antenna of an access point for comparison. I used the ESP07 because it has a small connector to attach an antenna. Both chips are the same. So, also the power output and the sensitivity of the receiver should be equal. Just a small digression. ESP8266 chips work in the 2.4 GHz band, as many other devices including access points and NRF24L01 chips. These devices often use so-called SMA connectors. These very nice little things come in male and female form. Now, common sense tells us that a female and a male connector fit together. Not so with SMA connectors. Why? In the 1990s, when the first access points came on the market, the FCC as an American government organization feared that some clever radio amateurs would use bigger antennas or even power amplifiers to extend the reach of these devices. And this was completely forbidden. So FCC ruled that all access point has to have non-standard connectors. So the industry invented the reverse polarity or RP SMA connector. Clever. The SMA-RP has just a reversed gender. The signal is not reversed. So male RP connectors fit with female RP connectors, but not with normal SMA connectors. But now back to our topic. How far can I go away from my ESP device and the iPad is still capable to connect? Because both ESP use the same frequencies, I wanted to be sure that they did not disturb each other. So during the test, I switched the second ESP always off. The ESP12E with the PCB antenna was capable to connect up till about 90 meters. And the ESP07 with an additional antenna was capable to connect up to about 150 meters. This is much less than CN Lore measured with his tests. But I think this test is closer to reality. Another example. The ESP12E was not capable to connect to the iPad when I was standing 20 meters away, but behind the house. This is also a proof that waves in the 2.4 GHz band behave much like light waves. They work good if the sender and the receiver have a line of sight connection and do not work at all if this sight is blocked. I would be interested in your tests. Just post your results in the comment. 
I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye.